guys, it's Megan. So I really wanted to chat, 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 whatever, chat with you guys today about some of my current favorite things beauty-wise and then I'm so excited about fall. So I have some fall related things that I really wanted to show you as well. So this is kind of be, gonna be like a mishmash video of a bunch of stuff that I am loving and also excited about for the fall season. So I, I feel like I never just sit down and talk to you guys about like random stuff that I'm really liking. So this is going to be that video. First, and obviously the most important, is chocolate. <laughs> and okay, so I became obsessed with dairy milk because of Amelia Liana. And I did not know that Cadbury was like owned by or made by Hershey until I went to New York City into the Hershey store and they had Cadbury chocolate there. So I tried the Royal Dark because I was only getting the dairy milk. I am not usually a fan of dark chocolate. My mom is like the freaking dark chocolate connoisseur of the world, but I just don't like it. I think it's too bitter. It's not sweet enough. I just don't like it. But I got this for her to try, but I tried it and I love it. I only have like one row of both of these left. I only eat one row when I eat these because it's like a normal bar of chocolate and then it's like three squares um, down. So I eat one row when I want to eat it, but I think I like the dark chocolate better than the dairy milk which is pretty surprising to me because usually I love milk chocolate and the dairy milk does melt better in your mouth, but I like the taste better of the dark chocolate, which is so weird, like who am I? But um, yeah, I absolutely love these so much. If you've never tried Cadbury chocolate, you need to because I never, I don't know, I just never really heard of it. I didn't know we had it in America, honestly, um, but you can buy it at CVS is where I find it like all the time now and I've been seeing it pop up other places because now that I'm aware of it, I see it everywhere. But yeah, oh my gosh, so good. Okay, um, I have been really weird. I feel like a lot of things have been changing with my taste in makeup and like skincare and stuff. I've been noticing my skin was not properly hydrated so I have been really focusing on hydrating my skin and using products that are normally geared towards dry skin which I never consider myself to have dry skin. I usually say that I have normal sensitive skin um, but for some reason my skin has just been looking feeling really dry like not when I'm not wearing makeup but when I am wearing makeup it just looks bad and it was just so annoying to me. So I've been using a lot of different like hydrating products recently. I went back to using my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture for Sensitive Skin Lotion in the daytime. I love this. This is one of my like standby products that I pretty much always have like in my stash of stuff. Um, over the summer I was using the Josie Marin like daytime moisturizer but I, that one's just not very hyd hydrating. So I switched over to this. I only have like this much left. So this will probably last me a few more months until like we're in the dead of winter. So I'll have to probably repurchase this. But this is just awesome. It comes with a pump. It's super easy to travel with because it has a lock on it. So then it like won't go anywhere. And it's just awesome to hydrate your skin. Not too much hydration, but more than just your summertime moisturizer would. And it's really emollient and nice, no fragrance to it. It just does the trick. And I think that it's really been helping my skin look more, look and feel more hydrated. So I love that. I also have been trying out this Polish Choice Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner, and it is for all skin types. So this is a weird consistency to me of a toner because it's much more of a creamy, milky consistency. Um, so you just need a few like shakes because it has uh, one of these types of like holes in it. So you just shake a little bit onto your uh, cotton pad or whatever, and then I just smooth it all over my face, and it's a lot more hydrating than any other toner that I've ever used. Um, it just says, supercharged toner smooths wrinkles, builds collagen for firmer skin, anti-irritants, calm redness. But um, it's just really, really good if you need more hydration in your skin. And I feel like most people do during this time of year with, especially because the 
here the seasons changed so quickly my sister said yesterday i think we forgot fall like it went straight to winter it's like 40 degrees so my skin that's probably why it's been acting up but this has been awesome to put more hydration into it and i just love it and polish choice is a really really nice brand that i've been getting more into lately so that's a really good product that i've been trying this is like an insane product and i'm so glad that i got a sample of it it's the gel de la mer obviously by la mer and it is the moisturizing gel cream and so it's like this super small sample <laughs> it's so cute um i got this from nordstrom they have the best free samples ever like this at sephora which they don't even carry la mer but this little sample would be like a 500 point perk or something at sephora it's like so crazy but at nordstrom this is just one of the free samples that you can get with any beauty purchase so usually uh gel moisturizers i don't have a lot left of this sadly um gel moisturizers i just think are pointless they're never hydrating they never do anything this is so nice I cannot imagine ever purchasing this but this is not like any other gel moisturizer out there like this is not your typical doesn't do anything gel moisturizer it really feels luxurious when you put it on your skin it feels thicker than most other ones like it's more substantial and when you rub it in it doesn't just like go away to nothing it actually feels like a cream when you're rubbing it into your skin and my skin has been looking really really nice lately and um not saying that this made it better but it definitely didn't irritate it which is very important to me and i just thought i would share it because i'm so surprised that a gel moisturizer doesn't suck <laughs> because even though this is a super expensive product it could have easily been just like every other uh gel moisturizer that i tried that is absolutely pointless but this is actually really nice if you can ever get a sample of this get it because it's really fun and if you can afford to get this as a full size maybe you want to try it i don't know it's up to you but it's really really good during the daytime i've been using this dr brandt laser fx brighten serum and i have been doing a new subscription service that i haven't talked to you guys about yet because i want to do like a full review after um, i signed up for a four month subscription and it's called beauty dna it's a really really interesting concept for a beauty subscription you get a full, one full-size product each month and I believe that the price is $25. I signed up through one of the like flash sale websites where you can get it for a much better deal. After everything is like all my coupons and stuff, it was about like $10 a month, which is nuts. Um, so you get one full size product based on a survey that you take that's a very, very extensive beauty survey so you tell them about your skin about your eyes about your body about your hair you tell them what ingredients you like you don't like things that you're irritated by um your concerns about your face and your body and your wrinkles and your dry spots and your acne or whatever you tell them everything and they have a super advanced algorithm that helps pick out a product that they think will work really great for you so I have received two products so far. This is the first product that I received and it's so nice. So the the packaging is super, super nice. I think that this is like a 70 or $80 serum, which is absurd to get it for like 10 or $15 or whatever it is that I got on sale per month. So it says that it brightens, fades dark spots and evens out tone. So um, it's like a thicker cream serum i use this before my daytime serum and it just like spreads out to more of a thinner consistency and it sinks into the skin really 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 nicely like i just hit my face with it but um it just smells good it's not like a scent i've ever smelled before it's kind of like citrusy but kind of like not it's just a really like pleasant scent and um I don't know if this is doing anything in particular, but I really like doing the step of having a serum in the morning. And again, this has not irritated my skin. I think that using 
Um, these moisturizing products in addition to this has really helped my skin overall. I do feel like my skin is like brighter and it's I feel comfortable not having to wear foundation. Um, I just really do like this. So I'm going to continue to use this until it's all used up. It'll probably be used up by the time I do my full review of the Beauty DNA service. So that'll be I have two months left. So probably by the end of the year, I'll have a review of it. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about this after using the entire bottle, but I, I would say I'm about halfway done with this bottle, and so far I really do like it. I love the step of having a serum in the daytime, and it's a little slick now, but it's almost completely um, sunk into my skin, and I've only been talking for about a minute. So this is really nice. Don't know if I would pay the full price, but to get it through that service for like even the full price of $25 a month to get a $70 serum, it's crazy. So look into Beauty DNA if you're interested, but uh, this product has just, it's been a nice addition to my routine. Okay, for foundation, I have a combination that I am loving. One super expensive thing, one super cheap thing that make a beautiful, beautiful pairing. So the super expensive thing is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation. Holy crap, I swear I found my holy grail foundation. This is a uh, 10 beige. It is a beautiful color match for me. Um, Oh, I just love it. So it has the Chanel symbol. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And then it has a wonderful pump. I use two pumps of this to cover my entire face. And oh my God, it has a little bit on there. How dare I disrespect this beautiful foundation. Um, I love it. It says that it's a long wear foundation and it definitely, definitely is. But it looks very natural. And I feel like, do I want to get closer to show you? Hopefully you can tell that it's just a very natural foundation and of course I'm wearing like blush and highlighter and stuff but throughout the day this looks really really nice I wear it to work and it's not like too much or it's not too weird but I can wear it out as well I can wear it today I'm just like bumming around I'm gonna go to Marshall's see what is there I haven't been there in like a month I can only go like one time a month I have to limit myself um but this is just a perfect foundation all around. It has really nice buildable coverage. Like when you just do one layer of it, it looks gorgeous. That's what I'm wearing. Most of my face is just one layer. I do add a little bit more on my cheeks. So then it's um, more of a blank canvas for my like blush and stuff like that. But I absolutely love this. I like never hear people talk about this, but I think that this is a wonderful foundation for... I would say normal skin, like I said, when my skin was looking dry, nothing looked great on top of it because nothing really looks that great on top of dry skin. So I would say if you have normal skin and we'll see how it does leading more into the cooler months when my skin might get a little more dry, but I absolutely love it so far. I've worn it every single day since I got it like two weeks ago, I think and it is just absolutely gorgeous. But the pro the tool that I apply it with is super cheap. It's the e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Blending Brush. And it's just like a buffing, rounded buffing brush. It is perfect. Like literally any foundation brush would probably do the trick, but I just thought that this brush, which I haven't really tried out a lot, I just picked it out of my like stash of uh, foundation brushes to try it out a little bit more and it is so nice it is just as nice as any of the other of the, of the other ones I'm so excited I, <laughs> I'm talking so fast um, but just blending it in is so nice it's super soft and it doesn't leave your makeup looking streaky which I think that some foundation brushes do do that so really expensive thing and a really cheap thing that make a beautiful combination and I just absolutely love this Okay, for eyes, I first have a amendment to a tip that literally is life-changing. So you guys know that like a few months ago, Maria from Maria Makes Up told me to start applying a translucent powder under my eye primer to make my eye makeup last all day. And I thought that that trick was amazing, like seriously a life-changing tip. Then I noticed that I was forgetting to put on my eye primer. I was forgetting to put on my e.l.f. eyelid primer, but I was remembering to do the translucent base or the translucent powder, and my eyeshadow was still not going anywhere. So I have not used an eye primer 
for probably a month. I've only been using my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Transparent Finishing Powder. This my friend uh, Kristen Papula sent me. I love this powder. I only do this before my cream shadow. I don't use any other primer and my eye makeup lasts so long. Like unbelievably long. It lasts all day. And so I don't even feel like I need a primer anymore. I just need a translucent powder before my cream shadow. And that to me is incredible for I have had problems with my eyeshadow creasing ever since I started wearing makeup. Eyeshadow has always been my number one favorite step of makeup, my favorite way to like play around with makeup, to do different looks, to do like different styles and different shapes and different colors and blah blah blah. I just love eye makeup so much, but I was always frustrated that it wouldn't last throughout the day and it would get creased and then you just look like like a fool for spending all that time and having so much fun with it and having it look so good but then having it look like a mess by the end of the day. So I just apply this with a fluffy brush like any fluffy brush in my collection I just sweep it on I get a little bit and tap off a lot of the excess and then just sweep it on over my eyelid after I do my like moisturizer and stuff like that and then I immediately go on to a cream shadow and it is incredible that it lasts all day just by doing this one step of powder on top of your lid before anything else. So this is super, super amazing. I am so happy that Maria ever taught me that first tip and now that I learned that I can do it without primer at all, so, so incredible. I'm actually gonna do a cream shadow like my collection after this video, uh, hopefully if I have time. Um, to show you guys all the cream shadows that I have and I'm gonna mention that tip again because it is seriously life-changing. So thank you so much Maria for telling me that and thank you Kristen for sending this to me but seriously I think any translucent powder would work. I don't see why it would make much of a difference but that tip so mind-blowingly awesome. But for eyeshadow itself, I've been using my NARS Ondine shadow a lot. This is a shadow that I've been panning for like a year or something like that and I do have pan on it but I always like forget about it but it is literally so gorgeous. It's the only shadow that I have on like my lid and my crease today. Then I have um, MAC Carbon. I've been really into MAC shadows lately. The MAC Carbon, I have it over my liner and like smoked out into kind of a wing. This Ondine shade is so amazing. It's like that one shadow look that you just need to sweep on and it builds itself up in the crease so it looks like you did a lot more work. And I did um, pack a little bit more in my crease to make it a little more smoky. But this shadow, I forget about it so often. This was one of my first makeup products and I absolutely, absolutely love it. If I ever am able to finish it up, I totally would buy a new one because it is just that good, but I forget about it a lot of the time. But I've rekindled my love. I think that this, I remember it more in the fall because this is more of a, it's like a berryish tone. And I just think that it's perfect with smoky eyes during the fall and winter. So I have re-fallen in love with this. And then I did want to mention MAC shadows in general that I think are, I think MAC shadows are probably my favorite eyeshadows that I've ever tried. They are pigmented, but they don't like kick up a lot of powder. They're like densely packed, but they're smooth and they're really nice. And I really am interested in their, the bigger palettes that they have that are like pre-made. They're like 16 or 24 shadows or whatever they are. There's a of different ones at Nordstrom and I've been contemplating getting those but I just don't know which one I would use the most of because they're $85 which is a lot to pay for one thing but when you like break down the price of it you're getting an amazing deal for MAC shadows. So if you guys have any of those um, those Nordstrom like bigger MAC palettes let me know which one is your favorite or if you recommend multiple ones. I'm gonna go to the Christiana Mall next weekend. I am so excited. I love that mall. No sales tax in Delaware, so it's like incredible. And they have um, a Mac and a Nordstrom with a Mac counter. So I'll be able to look at them in person as well because I've only seen them online and then in some people's videos. So if you guys have a favorite one of those, please let me know because I'm really interested in them, but I don't know which one to get. So Mac Shadows, my freaking love 
amazing love them also I didn't mention my hair in this video I mentioned it in my get ready with me that I did yesterday but my mom cut my hair I am so so happy with it and um n I don't know when I'm gonna do it when I'll have time but I want to dye my hair with this John Frieda um 6RC Red Copper Canyon next it's more of a bright red and I think that it'll be really really pretty for the fall and winter so I my roots are like oh but I love this hair length on me this is my favorite like length I think that it's the most flattering and my hair when it gets to a certain length it starts like flipping out but this it like goes in and I just really really like it so um, I'm obsessed with my hair right now okay for eyebrows I've been doing a combo with two products that I never did like two products at once, but I've been trying to use up the NYX Micro Brow in Ash Brown. This is the one that Chloe originally got me because she wasn't sure what color I would need. Um, and it works for my hair, but I like the auburn shade better. This one is just a little more cool tone, which matches my normal eyebrows, but I like to go a little more red because of my dyed hair. So I've been using this to like define my brows, but then I've been using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Auburn on top of it, which I have also been trying to use up because I'm about like halfway done with it. Um, and it says that it's only good for six months, but I swear I've had it for way longer than that. But layering them on top of each other just makes the perfect brow for me. And usually I wouldn't do two steps because I'm just really lazy, but I think that the combination of these two is quick because you just go like da, 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 with this one and then you go da, 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 with the brow with the brow gel and it just keeps your eyebrows like with the color that you that I want and it keeps them in place because of the brow gel so I really do like this combo and I like the micro brow but the auburn just works better for my hair for cheeks you guys were so right I love Dallas benefit Dallas this is a surprising product to me. I never have liked Benefit blushes that I've tried before, but Angela Scar is the one that I heard rave and rave and rave about this. And Angela, I really miss your videos, by the way. Um, she said that she's gone through like tons of these powders and I've always heard good things about it, but I don't know, Benefit... The only product that I really love from them are their creaseless cream shadows and I've tried a few blushes from them that I don't really like but this one is a different story. This is what I'm wearing as like bronzer and blush and I do have a little bit of the Dior, that tie-dye one, the more like orangey one. I have a little bit of that on but mostly the Dallas as like a blush bronzer which is what you guys were saying this is perfect for and it seriously is it is so easy during the work week to just go like ba 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 like you're done with your cheeks and I really really like it I'm surprised about how much I like it because I thought that I would have to force myself to like it almost but the more that I used it I was like wow this is really a good product and it's not like too orange or anything on my skin it's just a really nice rosy brown color it's so 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 nice so if you have heard Angela talk about this forever or other people and you've been on the fence about getting it you should try it out because it's really nice and Ulta is doing two times the points and then three times the points for platinum members right now so maybe now is a good time to pick it up but I really love that Okay, um, two things that I'm wearing um, makeup wise right now that I wanted to mention. First is the lipstick and this is the Too Faced Naked Dolly, which I showed you guys in a haul video, but I wanted to share with you what it looks like on because I'm not used to seeing myself with such a nude lip and I usually never wear them on videos. So this is more of a like peachy tone of a nude lip which I like almost never go for so you can see I'm wearing it now and the formula of these is incredible but I think that the color is really nice when I'm going for that type of a nude lip look because I like it with um smoky eyes and like whatever cheeks I have going on right now and um, more like whatever fallish cheeks I don't know what to explain this as but I really do like it with this look so I wanted to share, show you what this looked like on a really pale person, just in case you're pale as well and you weren't sure if this would be a color that worked for you because 
I honestly just blindly bought this and didn't know if it would work at all for me, but I like it because I don't have anything like this in my collection, so this is definitely a winner. And then my nail polish is one of my all-time favorites, Butter London Wallace. <sighs> this is the perfect, like, olive green amazing amazing color I got this last year when I was super obsessed with this color and I have an eyeshadow of pretty much the exact same color that I'm gonna wear this fall it's a uh, L'Oreal infallible in golden bronze or something and it's not a bronze shade at all it's like an olive green it is gorgeous and this is seriously the most beautiful nail polish of all time and my nails, I don't know if you can tell, but they're really long and really like strong and I just love the OPI Nail Envy. If you have been like on the fence about if that's worth it, it totally is. It's like changed my nails. So Butter London Wallace is one of my all-time faves. Butter London is like my new absolute favorite nail polish brand. Them and OPI, like total favorites. They, Butter London was on Holt Look two weeks ago, last week, I'm not sure. And I ordered a crap ton of their nail, nail polishes, some for like gifts and then some for myself to add to my collection. But um, Butter London is just super nice. And oddly, you can find them a lot of the time at Marshalls. They'll have them for like $4 when they're usually like $14. So definitely check your nail polish section at Marshalls because I found a lot of Butter London polishes for super, super cheap. Okay, that's all the beauty stuff. Then I want to share with you guys some fall things. First, let me show you my sweater. I don't know really what you can see with me that close, but I just got this last night at Kohl's. It's by Chaps, which is usually like a women's brand or whatever, but I guess like I'm an adult woman, so that kind of makes sense now. But it's so, so nice. And it was originally $50, but then it was on sale for $37.50 and then my mom had a 20% off. So it went down to like 20, it was like 27 or something. And then we had Kohl's cash, I don't know. But it is so, so nice. I love the V-neck. I need like all new sweaters for fall. And let me like prop myself up so you can see the bottom. It's just like, plain and it's like a loose fitting this is the large i'm usually like typically a medium in shirts but for sweaters i really like them to be a little bit baggier and then when you roll up the sleeves it looks really cute and it's just really really nice and it's not overly warm like right now i'm like sweating because i've been talking in an enclosed room I've clearly been talking for 25 minutes because my camera just shut off so um yeah i really really like this sweater this is a scarf that I actually I, I still have the tags on it this is from um airy I bought this a few months ago but in preparation for fall and winter and it's one of their blanket scarves and I have one of their blanket scarves from last year but I thought that this color combination was really nice with like the maroonish purple and the mustard green and the light pink and then the cream I just think it's really pretty. Their scarves are super, super nice and they're very warm, but you can still wear them inside. But this is just like one of the long rectangle type ones. They do have some, like the one I have from last year is like a square. So you can wear it like in a V type of thing in the front of your, like on your front of the bow of your body. Um, hopefully um, when... There should be a 40% off sale coming soon to American Eagle. I've been like holding out getting new jeans, which I desperately need for months because they haven't had a 40% off that I have noticed. But since it's going to be Columbus Day next weekend, I'm thinking that they'll do a 40% off. So I, I would recommend getting a scarf during that time. I bought that full price, which they're $30. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, they're just super, super nice. So if they're on sale, definitely pick one up. And then their jeans are like amazing. Okay, what else? Oh, this was something I wanted to mention. This body wash is so nice. This is the Caress Passionate Spell, Passion Fruit and Fiery Orange Rose. It is such a sexy, warm scent. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret scents a lot. And Caress is obviously way, way cheaper than Victoria's Secret. But it's just like that sexy, cozy, warm scent that I think is perfect for fall and winter. So this is 
something that I have really enjoyed using and I'm going to continue to use it throughout the fall. So I absolutely love this and just thought I would mention that. Also, where scents are concerned, I am loving the pumpkin cupcake scent from Bath & Body Works. I forgot to bring out my hand soap, but I'm loving that foaming hand soap of um, pumpkin cupcake. And as you can see, I've burned so much of this candle. I've only been burning it for like two weekends and I'm almost halfway done with it. It is just such a cozy warm bakery scent with that sweetness from the frosting but then that spiciness from the pumpkin it's just so 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 nice and this is one that I'll definitely finish up this year even though I just started it because I love it that much okay for Halloween first of all I have no idea what I want to be for Halloween Halloween isn't a holiday that I've ever honestly cared about. Like I liked going trick-or-treating but not for the candy. I liked like hanging out with my friends. I except for like in uh elementary school I never really cared about dressing up. I would be like something last minute. I would be like a cat or a vampire or a sexy this or a sexy that. Like I've never been inspired by Halloween. It's not something that I really have ever cared about. But my best friend Caitlin loves Halloween, so she has a Halloween party every year, and I still don't know what I'm going to be, but I'm trying to brainstorm. But I found these adorable flasks yesterday at Target, and I have a few other Target things I want to share with you guys. But I got one for her and one for me, because I know that she'll appreciate it. But it says, booze. <laughs> I think that it is so funny. These were $5, which is kind of expensive, but I knew that she would love it, and I just thought it was so cute, so I got one for each of us. And then I actually got her this card, because it was too funny not to get, so um, it's by American Greetings, and so it looks like a ghost, and then it says, holy shit, it's Halloween! <laughs> and I love that so much so I'm gonna give those things to her for Halloween because she's literally the only person that I know that really loves Halloween like personally so I know that she'll appreciate them and um so hopefully I can think of something to be for Halloween I have one idea but no one that's gonna be at that party watches Breaking Bad which is like beyond me I know but my idea and maybe like you guys if you have friends that watch Breaking Bad you can be this but I was thinking of being Walter White during the first episode where he's in the um in the desert making meth in the RV where he's like not did my thing beep I'm like hearing things like going crazy because of the Holy Ghost um anyway being Walter White in the desert when um, he like wasn't wearing any clothes because he didn't want the meth to like seep the scent to seep into his clothes. So then um, he's just wearing his like tidy whiteies and then his green shirt, his glasses and like obviously his like mustache and stuff with like a gun stuck in his underwear and I was like I'll be that for Halloween. That is literally my only idea so far and like I said they don't watch Breaking Bad so it'll all be lost on them but I still think that it's a really good idea so I want to share it with you guys just in case like you don't have any idea either but maybe you want to do that but I might still do it because it's literally the only idea that has made me excited so far but uh yeah that's my idea for Halloween. Okay, then just a few last Halloween things. This is actually my sister's, but it is way too cute not to share. So this is a little hamster. It's not little, it's like giant. Um, she got it, let's see, she wrote down the name of the store. It's called Tokyo Otaku Mode, and I'll type it here. But this is a little hamster. Everything's in Japanese, but they're like Halloween themed stuffed animals. So as you can see, this little guy's holding a itsy bitsy pumpkin and he has the cutest little blush on. And I named him Maxwell because I just love coming up with names for things. Like I just like, yes, I like love naming things so much. Um, so this little guy is Maxwell and he is so, so cute. It was like such a pain to get him finally to the United States because obviously there's like customs and stuff but for some reason like our post office wouldn't just leave it at our like at our front step we had to like go to the post office and 
they close at like 4 p.m. so no one can get there during the work, work week. So she finally got him yesterday and he's just so cute and so soft. So I wanted to share this with you guys because first of all, he's adorable, but if you think that he's cute or whatever, you can buy him online or if like you want him for your kids or whatever, there's a bunch of different styles, not a bunch, but a few, but he's just super cute. So I wanted to share that. And then I got two bedding different bedding things at Target last night that I wanted to share with you guys. You can probably see my plaid and that is, it comes in this like cube with everything in it. I still have the fitted sheet in here. I just have the flat sheet on right now, but these are by Threshold and it is the flannin, the flannin. A flannin. sheet set 100% cotton and um there was like two colorways but I loved this I thought that it was super super nice and let's see if it has any other information on here um it's just maybe I'll hold this up just in case you guys want to look it up on their website or something but they're super soft. I've never had flannel sheets because I've always wanted them, but I never like saw a pattern that I really liked. But I thought these colors were just so pretty and I really love them. And then in the same area, they had the quilt that, um, I'm sure you can kind of see it in like my background. This is also by Threshold. It's the quilt, um, machine washable. It really doesn't say like a name on it, but this, it was like the quilt just by itself. And then it had this on top of it. So I absolutely love this combination like the red with this like really pretty rusty orange is so nice and the texture of the quilt like the um embroidery in it is absolutely absolutely gorgeous and what I did because I get really cold overnight so I still wanted a comforter I just flipped my comforter which you guys know is that like green and cream pattern I just flipped it on the other side where it's just cream so it won't be like clashing and then I just put the quilt on top of it so I'll still be warm but it'll be a nice change with this really pretty rusty orange quilt on top of it I just absolutely absolutely love it and it was like super cozy last night but I believe that that is everything and I just loved doing this video. I think that it is so fun to just talk about random stuff with you guys and I'm just so excited about fall. I still need, need, I still want a new pair of like riding boots for this season. That's one of the things I want to look at at Marshalls when I go there after this. Um, I absolutely love the Lucky brand ones that I have, but those are a few years old, and so they're like kind of scuffed up and stuff, and I, I've always wanted to get a black pair as well, so I'm going to look for those, but uh, yeah, I think that, that is it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun talking to you today, and I, I should do these types of videos more, just like chatting with you guys and not like on a super specific topic because I do that a lot and I feel like that like pigeonholes me so I don't want to do like only certain topic videos that's why I really like doing my get ready with me is where I can just talk to you guys about everything and it's just really fun so um thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it so much you literally have no idea how much you guys mean to me it's like unreal the support you guys give me and I will see you all really really soon so take care bye